Hi guys, today we're going to look at the kilograms and grams maths worksheet. It's a little bit trickier than the um, maths worksheet you did yesterday. The first question is to write the mass of each of the following in kilograms in, and in grams. So we can see from the top that 1,000 grams equals 1 kilo. How many thousands are in this number? There is just 1,000 and 500 grams left over. How many thousands are in this number? There are two thousands and 100 grams left over. Question two, these items weigh more than one kilo. Write the mass of each in kilos and grams. Just try your best. I know they're a little bit tricky to read because the photocopying didn't work out that great, but we'll just try our best. We can see that there's zero and then there's one. So that means it's reached the one kilo mark two, three. This is more than one kilo. It's a bit like reading a clock. So it's at least one kilo there. And how many grams? I'm going to guess because it's halfway between the one and two. And even though I can't completely read that number properly, it's going to be 500 grams. Okay. Let's have a look over at the other page. We've got a few um, just shorthands to help you with the page today. Write each mass in kilograms. Use decimal notation when it is less than one kilo. 3,000 grams is easy. It's just three kilos. 250 grams. Now, it's got a pretty good key up the top here. 250 gra 50 grams is 0 0.25 kilos. Hopefully that will help you work out most of these questions. Write each mass in grams. Make sure you read the number properly because these are all kilos. So 45 kilos is going to be 45,000 grams. 0 0.25 kilos means it hasn't yet reached uh, one kilo. It's not going to be 1,000 grams. It's going to be less than. It will be 250 grams. Remember, you can look up the top if you need any help. Last question, read the scales carefully and label the mass of each item in kilos using decimals. So look at this scale first and I can see that this one is less than one kilo. It's 500 grams, which is the same as 0 0.5 kilos. Same with this one, I haven't yet reached one kilo. It's on the three, so it's going to be 0 0.3 kilos. This one is above one kilo, so be careful with that one. And this one, again, under one kilo, 250 grams. You can use that little scale at the top to help you. This page definitely requires a little bit more thinking, so make sure you are reading the question properly and thinking what it's asking you and you can always refer to that little guide at the top to help you. Good luck.